Hello everybody, today we're taking it back to basics with exfoliating. Sometimes I forget that just because I do things on like a weekly basis and I know um, a few things about skincare, um, I forget that not everyone knows that. I, I realize that um, exfoliating really isn't part of everyone's routine. So today we are gonna talk about um, what, it, what exfoliating is, why you should be doing it, and how you should do it, depending on your skin type as well, and the different ways of doing it. We've got a bit to go through. But before we get into the video, stay till the end of the video to see if you have won my 200K giveaway. Um, yes, I'll be announcing it here today and then contacting them once this video has been posted. So stay till the end to see. So let's just crack on with it. So first of all, what is exfoliating? So exfoliating is obviously part of your skincare routine. Usually you exfoliate after cleansing. In fact, you always exfoliate after cleansing. And what exfoliating is, is removing the dead skin cells on top of your skin, on the top layer of your skin. This helps brighten your skin. Um, it helps remove dead skin cells that kind of clog up your skin and lead to blackheads and spots. It also can really help um, your products penetrate into your skin. So any um, essences or serums that that you like to use, it can help those products work better, basically. There are two main ways of exfoliating. These are um, chemical exfoliating, then physical or mechanical. I'm gonna call it physical exfoliating. Chemical exfoliating is using a product that contains a BHA or an AHA, for example, a peeling mask, a peeling gel. Whereas a physical exfoliator is using something like a washcloth or using like a sugar scrub or even a mechanical brush, like a spinning brush. So how often should you be exfoliating? That depends on a couple of things, but mainly on your skin type and in general, how you personally react to exfoliators. So if you have oily skin like myself, people say you can exfoliate up to five times a week. I never feel the need to really. I do like to use a chemical exfoliator every other day. Oh, so that is five times a week. <laughs> they tend to say that oily skin can take a little bit more of the harsher stuff. I personally don't believe that or see why you would want to put your skin through anything a lot harsher. So things like coffee scrubs, sugar scrubs, all that kind of stuff, mechanical brushes um, we can use as well. If you have sensitive or dry skin, you should try using um, a washcloth. All you do with a washcloth is really gently rub it on your face. So not the most glamorous and not the most exciting of things. Um, or use a very mild chemical exfoliator um, once or twice a week. And for normal to combination skin, you lucky guys, you can use any of these methods pretty much um, up to two uh, to three times a week. But you know, explore, see what one works best for you. No matter what your skin type, if you have any um, open wounds, <laughs> a giant slash on your face, things like irritated acne, spots, things like that, avoid exfoliating until you feel fully healed. You don't wanna um, inflame your skin or irritate your skin or anything like that. You wanna be gentle to your skin. So yeah, skip exfoliating just for now. So now, how do we exfoliate? So number one, let's go with the chemical exfoliator. I personally prefer these because you can use them a little bit more often than you usually would with a physical exfoliator and they're super easy to use um, and they feel like less effort um, than having to do a whole scrub on your face. So um, what I like to do is use this in the kind of toner stage. So I take my chemical exfoliator, I put that on a cotton pad and then I very gently rub in circular motions over my skin, being careful to avoid the eye area. Word of warning guys, um, ladies who tweeze or wax or anything like that, any hair removal from your face, do not use this on a day that you've shaved or removed hair from your face because it's it can really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it can sting. But I find this the easiest to do. You can move this around your neck as well, onto your neck. It's hassle-free, really easy to use, usually packed with amazing ingredients. So yes, if you can use these and your skin enjoys them, then use them 100%. But do read the instructions. Some of them say that you need to rinse these off after. The majority of them you don't. Next up, how to use a mechanical exfoliator or physical exfoliator. Let's say we are going to use a facial brush. Actually, with both the facial brush and a like sugar scrub for example um, these need to be used with water on a damp face with a spinning brush you put a little bit of your favorite um, cleanser on the brush and then gently very very gently go around your face again using circular motions usually the instructions in the box will tell you how to use that specific brush rinse your face again with a something like a sugar scrub or an apricot scrub 
which I hate. I just don't like these. I always think if there's a light, nicer option, use that. A gentler option, use that. But again, very, very, very gentle circular motions. I don't own a physical scrub, so I'm showing you here me applying moisturizer in a way that I would use a physical scrub. But yes, just very, very gentle. Um, again, especially around the eye area. And then rinse off with warm water. The important thing um, with a mechanical or physical exfoliator is that your skin isn't red raw after, that it doesn't feel like it's um, burning. Because if, if it does, you've gone too far. You've scrubbed way too much. And then final step, guys, it's important to moisturize and give your skin some TLC on days that you exfoliate. Um, I like to use like soothing serums, things like green tea moisturizers. I tend to try and avoid any kind of other active ingredients like BHAs, PHAs, AHAs, anything like that um, on days when I exfoliate um, just because you don't want to go too far. But that is it guys, I hope that was maybe useful, um, I've been getting a lot of questions about it recently. Um, so leave your questions in the comments box down below as always. But that is it from me now guys, I will see you next time.